Today we're going to take a website that was designed in Figma and we're going to export that website out to Wix Studio using the brand new Figma to Wix Studio plugin. This is going to streamline our workflow. It's going to speed up our process and help us to build insanely awesome websites without having to write a single line of code. All right, we have our website design here in Figma and we want to get it over to Wix Studio. To do that, we're going to be using the new Figma to Wix Studio plugin. So why not just start right there? We'll go directly and start looking for the plugin. We can find it. Uh, if you can't find it, you can head into the store and here is our Figma to Wix Studio plugin. It's going to tell us if we want to export our designs to Wix Studio, we're just going to have to do a little bit of setup. So let's start with that setup process. When we click that, it's going to tell us that we need to connect this file to Wix Studio. So we're going to copy the Figma URL and on a Wix Studio site, paste the link under tools import from Figma. Okay, so why don't we start there and we're going to grab the link. Now, if you're on the browser version of Figma, you can just grab the URL. For us, we're using the local version of Figma. So all we have to do is press command or control L that copies the link. We're going to kick over to Wix Studio and we're going to start a blank canvas here. So open up that blank canvas, fresh, fresh page. That's all we need. That's how we're going to get started. And it told us as soon as this thing loads up, all we have to do is come up here to the top, Go to tools and look at that inside of tools we have the ability to import from figma now when we import from figma that gives us access to this new import from figma kind of sidebar here and guess what this is where we get to put our link so i'm just going to paste that link inside and i'm going to make that connection okay so it tells us that the connection is there but there is a little bit of an error. Here's what's happening. The magic in the background that's happening is that we have now made that connection to that unique Figma file link. We can continue to update our file, to iterate on it, and it's always gonna be connected to that file. So now that file is secure and ready to go, let's figure out what's wrong with that issue. It told us that the Figma reference width is 1440. Well, when we jump back over to our plugin, we could say, hey, I'm connected to my file. We'll hit next. And it's going to tell us immediately we need to match the editing size to the frame width. Now, our frame width here is set at 1440 and the standard Wix Studio file is set to 1280. We're working on a bit of a wide canvas to be sure, but why don't we just work with it? So I'm going to head over here and just switch this from 1280 to 1440 pixels and when we do that we do not have that error anymore perfect that's exactly what we want and now we're going to move over to our next step so let's let's press start the export and it's going to bring us to this handy dandy little interface with a recommended first step i love a recommended first step because sometimes you just get a little analysis paralysis you're like man what do i do it tells us what to do. We can start by exporting the styles. What are we talking about when we say styles? Well, we're probably talking about all of the different document styles or local styles here inside of Figma. You can see we have a bunch of text styles, a bunch of headlines. We've got some body copy sizes, even some button text and some color styles. Instead of manually bringing those over, that is so monotonous. Why don't we let the machines do it for us? Why don't we let this awesome plugin do it for us? So we're gonna go ahead and click there and we're gonna say export the styles. Select frames with your typography and colors. Okay, so this entire parent frame has a bunch of typographic styles and colors. And look at that. It found all of those styles, five of them to be exact, as well as a bunch of typography styles. Why don't we click export styles? Gives us the good thumbs up check mark. Let's head over and refresh the import and see what it gives us. And just like that, it only took a moment. We have all of those theme colors. We have all of those text classes and we have a big magic button that will allow us to apply these styles to our site. I'm going to click that. And then as soon as we do it, it kicks us over to our site styles. And so you can see it's brought our background and text colors in our action colors. Our typography is all here. Now there is some typography like this H6 that's not been set because we don't have an H6 in our project. So that's okay. I'm not going to use the H6. If I wanted to, I could simply update it like that, but it's pretty cool. That's all we need. We can just jump into page transitions because that's what I like to do and just kind of hit it over to out and in. That is going to make things spicy. We're ready to go. Why don't we just get rid of anything in our design? For instance, this Navigation up top and this footer down below. Well, now we have a big empty section. It's time to take the next steps. All we have to do is head back to our project and we click back. 
Now it's time to export a frame. Now, we can export the entire thing if we want to. If we just want to grab the entire parent container or parent frame, export that bad boy out, we can do so. But I will say that I get much better results exporting the individual sections or areas of my website. So feel free to experiment, play with it, but I get better results going section by section. So instead of grabbing the parent kind of frame or container, I'm gonna grab my hero section. I've built all of my sections with auto layout. You don't have to, but that's just the way that I like to design inside of Figma. And my parent container is not an auto layout. But again, you can do you, figure it out. You'll maybe get varying results. This is the way that I found works really well for me. I'm gonna grab that hero section, export the frame. It's going always going to assess it first and say, hey, we got you. We figured out what that frame is. And then we're going to export that frame. We get our check mark, come back over, open up Figma, refresh the import, it's gonna make that magic connection again for us. And then hopefully here within a couple seconds, boom, it's brought the preview of what I'm about to import. Now, I do have a big kind of gradiated kind of shape in there. It's most likely gonna have trouble with that, but I'm gonna look down below at the bottom here and it's gonna say, hey, do we wanna add this frame as an entire page, as a section or container? Now, again, if you bring in the entire design in one click, you'd probably wanna bring it in as a fresh page. But me, since I'm going section by section, I'm gonna bring it in as a section. I'm gonna add it to the site, and Wix Studio just starts building. It just starts importing. It's gonna take a hot second, just a quick second here, to bring in all of the assets like the imagery, but you can see all that happening. And as I suspected, it did have trouble with that big background blur. That's okay, because we already exported a flat JPEG version of it. Look, it brought my logos in. Notice this, it actually brought all of those lockups, the tech lo text lockups in, it brought them in as stacks. So it kind of converted my auto layouts into stacks, which is really nice. The entire section is a stack, and then we have all the stacks happening there in between. Very, very nice stuff. Let's get that extra image in there that broke somehow. We'll just come up here and select image, pops it in. Let's go ahead and change image and find it here on my desktop. I'm going to upload media and just bring it in like so. And Wix is going to upload and also compress a little bit for me. Why don't I update? And what I can do is just extend this thing out, be the width of my website like so. Okay, perfect. And I can just kind of move it up. Why don't we scroll up a little bit? I'm going to open up my layers, drop it to the back and boom, just like that. Our website looks exactly, that section looks exactly like it did inside of Figma. Now from here, you can guess what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep on exporting sections, exporting sections until we get our website completely built. Why don't we do a couple more here just so you see the whole process. I'm gonna click on this untitled section. We don't need it, I'll delete it. And I'm gonna go back over to Figma. Why don't we grab that section down below? And I'll just talk quickly about a couple of workflow tips. You can, very much so, you can butt sections up right up against each other. But I like to give each of my sections inside of my auto layouts a little bit of top and bottom padding. And I like to extend the width of them out as far as I possibly can. Even though like these, I have these massive manual kind of spaces in between, it's probably gonna space them right up against each other and that's fine. If I want to, what I can do is grab this out right now, center align everything, kind of create that space a little bit, find the stopping point there, find the stopping point here, and now I've gone ahead and manually fixed any spacing issues before I get to Wix Studio. One thing to keep in mind, you don't wanna have any overlap. So if I take a section and overlap another section, I'm gonna get weird funky results. So this is right on the line. That's exactly what we want. Why don't we go ahead and export that frame? We'll come back and we will refresh the import. And again, that was a pretty simple section. It shows us what we're gonna get. Let's add it as a section, open up, and you can see it put it on top. So why don't we just move that bottom section up? Why don't we just rename this to be hero, rename this to be uh, value, or I think we were calling this statements, just like that. And you can see it honored that space, okay? So why don't we preview our website and see how it's looking so far. So far, so good. And here's something probably really cool is since everything is set, our type styles, our sections, everything like that is set to scale, then everything is already fairly responsive. Is it adaptive yet? No, 
but we can do that really, really easily by using Wix Studio's AI and make it adaptive. We can come back to something like this to our project. Let's ask it not to show that notification again. Grab this entire statement area and we could just drill in on the responsive AI and we could say, hey, yep, don't show me this again. We want to get a responsive section on all devices with AI. Go ahead and generate that for me right now, Wix Studio. And it's going to go through the project and do its best. Again, is it going to be foolproof? Probably not. We'll have to come back and do a couple of tweaks and changes. But that's as fast as it took. In an instant, we could just apply that design, take a look at it in the previewer. And as we scale it down, we're going to get some of that adaptive kind of design work that's happening. Now, I told you there's going to be some issues. That's okay. We can come back in there and fix them. But that's how simple it is to import things from Figma into your Wix Studio project make those small tweaks and changes, and now push that big blue publish button and get your site live using Figma to Wix Studio plugin. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about web design and no-code development and Wix Studio, so make sure you ring the bell so you know when another video like this one comes out. Hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you are crushing your web design game. And if you're looking for more videos, check out this one or this one, and we'll see you in the next video.